know, in 10 years for an athletic department is still very much in its infancy. <laughs> You know, there's athletic departments that have been doing sports for 100 years. So, you know, to think of everything we've done in the 10 years that we've had sports is is uh, something that's really easy to take for granted until you kind of look back and reflect on. We've changed things a little bit, or we're planning on changing things a little bit, just to make the course a little bit more um, exciting and and eliminate some of the the course errors we had uh, last year. Uh, but we're real excited about it. It's a real popular meet at this point. It's only our second year to, to be um, hosting it, and we have 12 schools that are committed to coming. So we're pretty excited about that. The men, we've, we've got a lot of depth. You know, it's, it's the best, best depth we've ever had on the men's side, and, and arguably, at least on paper, it's the best men's team we've ever had. Um, an extremely talented group. Um, and I, f I have really, really big expectations for them in terms of what they're going to be able to do. Um, also expect them to go into a conference and, and, and be able to win it. Um, and then go to nationals. And I mean, we're expecting big things out of all of them. I mean, I could go through all the names. I'd probably miss one or two. But literally, all the guys who are coming back are talented enough to make noise, okay? And so we wanted to make sure that they continue to progress and that they do the things that they can do. Um, they all look really good right now. I mean, we've only been practicing for a handful of days, but they look good right now. The, in terms of newcomers uh, on the men's side, Derek Barnett, which was a guy we got who we've been very excited about in terms of being able to sign. He's just, right now, and again, you know, you know, uh, you don't want to put too much into it too early, but he looks really good right now. Um, he's a guy that's broken 15 and 5K before, and so with that, there's already these expectations that come with that. Our expectations for the women uh, are the same as they've been the last couple of years. You know, we fully expect to go into the conference and take care of business and walk away with the the plaque, so to speak, and then. You know, our, you know, our ambitions are also the same as they were the past couple of years in that, you know, we don't want to just win conference, we want to get the nationals and we want to do something there, you know, we don't want to just be there. Um, on the women, you know, the big three is basically what I'm calling them at this point, and that's Jasmine, Sarah, and Gabby. Uh, we're going to have to lean on them. They've got to produce if we're going to accomplish our goals, and uh, there's no mystery to that. Everybody in the program knows that they're the three that are going to have to carry the bulk of the main one we're looking at in terms of newcomers is Margaret Brook. Um, was a runner that we we're excited about to get um, out of high school, and it was pivotal that we got, you know, because without adding her, we'd be in a deeper hole. Uh, with her, we're really not in a hole at all, you know. You know, so she was a key grab, and she's running real well right now. Um, she's a girl that coming out of high school was uh, under 12 minutes for 3,200 meters, two miles, what have you. Uh, and so we've got some expectations on her.